I can already foresee this video like being horrible in terms of consistency with lighting and audio and I'm sorry, man. I don't want to be in the office today. The weather this week has been incredible. I'm about to get a workout in. This is just where I want to be. This video, I want to rave about the gear that I love that's been helping me make music videos, the things that I use pretty much every single shoot. And I just want to talk good about these things and bring them to your attention because they might help you a lot as well. First thing I want to talk about is the Canon C70. I picked up the C70 a couple months ago and I swapped my Canon C200 out for this camera. I love the C200. It was an incredible camera, but there were certain things about it that just didn't really make sense for me and made it a hassle for me to use for my productions. The size being one of those things and also the Kodak being one of those things as well. The RAW on the C200 was incredible, but the file sizes were massive and the camera was massive as well, which made it a ton of a hassle to travel with, to pack down, and uh, to use for long periods of time. So I got rid of it and I got this and I feel like this is a much more perfect camera for me. And I freaking love this camera. I love the size of it. I just recently traveled and did some documentary style behind the scenes stuff for a project in Texas. Travel with it, packed down really nice into a roller case. If y'all want me to do like a what's in my camera bag travel edition, let me know. I think that would be really dope. The size of it's great. It's not cumbersome to use for a long period of time. You can put it into a regular backpack if you need to. Codecs on this camera chop down really nice. You shoot on freaking SD cards. You don't need CFast, you don't need SSDs, none of that. Like <laughs> the quality of footage that goes straight to an SD card on this camera is just incredible. And you can even film raw on it now through SD card, which is just crazy. Man, I could rave about this camera all day. Built-in ND filters, you ain't gotta worry about if you got an ND, you can get the f-stop you need for your shots to keep a consistent shutter angle. The customization on this camera with the buttons on the side, the power option for it, the batteries last forever. I got this battery right now that has a D-tap in, which also powers the monitor on it. Like, yo, this camera is just perfect. The footage out of it looks incredible. The tone curve on C-Log 2 just looks beautiful straight out of the camera. Like, yeah, this camera has so much going for it. It has great frame rate options. The speed booster on this camera allows you to get an extra stop on your EF lenses. Low light on this camera is exceptional. It's so many great things about this camera, man. I freaking love it. I feel like it's the perfect middle ground between a uh, cinema camera and like DSLR in terms of like travel ability. I think this is like one of the best cinema cameras for entry level filmmakers and music video directors out there. I freaking love this camera. I think it's a bit pricey in terms of other things that you can get on the market like the Blackmagic series. I think that those are like way more affordable. But man, all the focus on this camera is decent. When you have optimal lighting scenarios, I think that this is just such a great camera. I freaking love it. And it's been a blast to use. If I had to say one thing I don't really like about it or one thing that I feel can be improved on, the low light capabilities. Like nothing's beating Sony right now. The FX6, FX3, all their cinema cameras are just incredible in low light. And this one is just okay. I freaking love this camera. I love it. The second thing is a little less exciting, but this is super exciting for me, man, because I've been in so many scenarios where I'm using regular C stands or I'm using regular light stands and I just use the grip head with the extended boom arm on it. And those have worked great in the past with booming up lights or getting the overhead light, but it's too many scenarios I've been in where I've had to compromise a shot or I've had to compromise the focal length of a shot, make it tighter because the light stand was in the shot. This boom arm, this junior boom arm that I got when I found out about it, I was freaking ecstatic. This thing is long. It allows you to push your stand a lot further out of the shot. And it's also a lot more sturdy and it can carry bigger lights and you can put other things on it as well. I freaking love this Junior Boom arm and I've been using it for pretty much every single music video since I got it. This thing is great. Basically it just goes onto a light stand. You can't put it on a regular light stand if you wanna pick this up. I'll make sure to leave a link to the light stand that I have for this. You get a couple different extension points where you can make it longer. It comes with a counterweight, so you can put heavier lights on it. You can put other things on it. I remember for the key shoot, we ended up like booming up uh, some picture frames on that and just hanging them with some fishing line. This thing's incredible. I freaking love this thing and it's not that exciting to a lot of people, but when I found out about it, I was like super hype about it. So 
The Junior Boom Arm has been a game changer for my production. I freaking love this thing and I use it for pretty much every single music video. The next thing is actually not exciting at all, but you need it for music videos. And the louder or the more quality one you get, I feel it really adds to the performance of the artist that you're filming. A Bluetooth speaker. You can get a Bluetooth speaker from anywhere. You can go get a $20 one from Big Lots. You can go to uh, Best Buy and buy a $300 big boom box. Whatever you get, just make sure it's quality. I think the quality of the sound that comes out of the Bluetooth speaker, the bass, the treble, the vocals, I think all of that really does play a big part into how the artist performs on camera. This Bose Soundlink Revolve, I've had this for a couple years and I freaking love this thing. It's compact, the bass is crispy, the treble's crispy, the vocals that come out of it are crispy. It has 360 sound, so you can place it anywhere and it's gonna omit sound all the way around. This thing's nice and it looks good as well. And it also doubles as the turn up at the turn up. So if you had the turn ups at the crib, this the one, you know what I mean? You throw some Jeezy on there, you throw some Dirk on there. You know, the party's going up too. But I love this thing, man. I think that you should definitely invest into a quality Bluetooth speaker because you can get it from anywhere. You can pay 15 bucks at freaking uh, Five Below and get a Bluetooth speaker. But if it sounds like garbage, it's not gonna entice anybody to get lively and get into their performance, man. So this is the one, I like it. The next thing is like just digital assets. So this can be stock clips, this can be uh, transitions, this could be motion graphics. I get mine from Storyblocks, which happens to be the sponsor of today's video. But let me tell you how I use these things in my music video production and I've been using them a ton lately. So whenever I do green screen work for music videos, it's always like me trying to figure out what's gonna go in the background of this green screen shot. And Storyblocks is great for this because you can find a ton of different things. You can find clouds. You can do smoke, you can do random motion graphics. It's so many different things that you can use in the background of a green screen shot. And in the past, I've used a ton of different things from Storyblocks. Like this clip right here from this music video, I just use these clouds. Then in this one, we use these clouds. I just freaking love Storyblocks for this and I feel like it's just the perfect application. Also in the past, I've used a projector for a music video and I used motion graphics from Storyblocks on this music video as well. I had a couple different options and I shot those and then in post, I was able to choose the one that worked the best for the music video. So it came in clutch for that as well. Aside from that, transitions like vintage film burns works great in music videos. Drop these on top, switch the blending mode to screen. You got some dope transitions. Aside from that, Storyblocks also has a lot of text templates and motion text that you can use in YouTube videos or titles of music videos. It's a ton of different things on Storyblocks. And you can download and use an unlimited amount of these things when you sign up for an unlimited plan. All of these clips, all of these assets, all of these motion graphics, are royalty free, so you can use them on music videos, Instagram content, YouTube videos, whatever you like. So down in the description is gonna be a link to take you guys over to Storyblocks. I highly recommend you guys check it out. I signed up for an unlimited plan because you don't feel scarce when you need these clips for your music videos. You can search up and try whatever you want. Whatever works, throw in your music video royalty free, you good to go, man. Yeah, digital assets side of music videos, I love Storyblocks for that. The next thing are these filters that you put in front of your lens. I love these because it's certain shots that look good and they look crispy, but they just need an additional oomph to them to take them to another level. And I feel like these just work perfectly for that. These filters right here are from Prism Lens Effects, but I know my boy Tyler Casey sells some over at Cinepax as well. You can also just get a glass or like a champagne glass or a piece of glass or like even a water bottle to put in front of your lens. All these things work and they just give a unique perspective and a unique effect for the shot that you're filming. The great thing about these filters though is that they have a handle so it's a little bit easier for you to handle them in front of the lens, but you can do this with anything, honestly. I like these though. I feel like you don't have to use them over the top. You can throw them in there strategically. I don't really like to do the whole music video this way, but you know, a couple shots, I feel like just adds a lot to it. I really like these. I keep them in my backpack all the time and whenever I feel like a shot needs a little bit of spice to it, I'll throw on either the Kaleidoscope one or just a regular diopter. I like these a lot. And the last and final thing is the new Amaron F22C flex panel light. This isn't brand new, this came out a couple months ago, but since I got this light, man, I've been using it for all of my music videos. I freaking love this light. It's lightweight, this is the perfect light for overhead lighting. It's no problem booming it up above your subject. The setup time for it is short, quick, 
comes with a soft box. You can throw the grid on it to isolate the lights, the subject. I just freaking love this thing, man. It could do the full RGB. It can do the effects. It's just the perfect light. It's the one that's the least cumbersome for me to use. And I've just been using it that way since I've got it. I feel like it's a great purchase, man. If you already got all your other lighting in order, like your key lights, like your Bowens mount fixtures, and you're looking for something else to spice up your lighting game, I definitely recommend this flex light. It's really good. It's really nice. It's lightweight. And it can get into spots where bigger lights can't. But it also comes with a soft box attachment to make the lighting a little bit softer. So that's the one. But that's that. I'm done raving about the gear that I use for my music videos. Do me a favor, head down to the comment section and let me know. What's one piece of gear that you have in your kit that you just love, that you just use every single day, every single time it's time for you to make a project? What is that one thing? Let me know down in the comments because I would really love to know. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop it a like. But with that being said, I'm out, y'all. Peace.